Hi, I'm Varian Brandon, and this is another in the um, design decisions grouping. I'm going to put it in that playlist. It is about a project that I am finishing up, getting ready to send out, and I just wanted to talk to you about it before I did. Uh, this is for Mountain Meadow. Um, they had called and said, would you, would I like to do a project for them? And I've done one, some before, as you know. And so I said, sure. I love working with them. It's a lot of fun. So um, uh, we kind of, after kind of start, it took a couple of weeks for us to kind of get going about what we had in mind, what they had in mind, kind of as you do. Um, and I sent them a sketch. They said, what, a, what about this? And we came down to um, a lined um, slouched hat and a pair of what I would call um, shaped peasant thumb mittens. Okay. Um, and three colors, which as you know me, I'm not going to tell the three colors. It's kind of like, whoa. But anyway. I was laughing. No, but it's fine. Um, three colors. And then we also talked about the idea that it was going to be, um, the patterning was was going to be pretty traditional, a traditional-esque uh, Fair Isle motifs. So that the, it is, um, the main pattern would be symmetrical, both um, horizontally like this and vertically, which you obviously have to do those hand signals when you say those words ver vertically and horizontally. So sorry. Oh, anyway. Um, and what I did, I was actually on vacation. I got out my iPad, didn't have my, um, well, I guess I did have my computer, but I didn't go to my computer, I did it on my iPad. This will make sense in just a minute. On my iPad. And I um, looked up their colors. We decided on the Saratoga, their Saratoga line of wool, which is their fingering weight, one of their fingering weights. Um, we, uh, I looked at colors and I went for what I, what I considered just as a, as a quick, um, just a quick look. I should have taken time, which you'll see in a minute. Um, I chose a combination that I thought would be pretty good. Now, I will say it is very hard when what you're designing is so dependent on color to pick colors from a computer monitor. And, and I would advise you um, to be very careful doing that. We're going to talk about more about that in the at the end, the big wrap up, because we're going to go over the other camera in just a minute. But I chose the colors um, and I chose a, a lupin and a fern and salmon. I as, um, have been kind of on over the past, I mean, I mean, not, it's not even a kick because I've been doing it for a while, but one of my go-to combinations is purple and green. I just, it's, I just love it. I love those, that combination. So, um, and from here, the, let's just say I, I asked for them to send me the yarn. They were kind enough to send me the yarn. And then it arrived. And nothing wrong with the yarn. The yarn is beautiful. Well, let's just go to the other camera and I will show you. We'll, we'll look a little closer. Okay. Before we look at the yarn... As a, and I'd like to repeat, there's nothing wrong with the yarn. It's me. It's all me. Let me show you kind of where my brain was. Um, this was this is a swatch I did probably 10, 15 years ago. Um, it's called Weyburn. And you can see the purples and the greens kind of in that. Okay. This is a, uh, this is my um, swatch I do to talk about color dominance and yarn dominance. Purple and green. Okay. This is a sweater I did um, several years ago. Um, this one is called Arista, but this is the sagey green and purple. Okay, I've got to re do redo this one before I can release it. That's on my list of things. And the other one is uh, another purple and green. That is um, the cardigan version of my daddy's request. Now, you don't need to see the whole thing, but you can tell purple and green, okay? That's kind of what I had in mind when I ordered the yarn. And it was, wasn't exactly what, um, it wasn't exactly those colors, but it's purple and green. I knew I could make it work, okay? Now, this is what arrived. Okay, now obviously I, 
you'll, when you see the pattern, you'll know why that's, there's a lot of that left over, not a lot of this left over. Um, I, it was either my monitor, my iPad, my brain. I have no idea. This was called, um, this is Salmon, this is Lupin, and this is Fern. Now on the camera, and the camera, they even look brighter than they do in person, but they're still not, not what I had in mind, but they were okay. I was going to make this work. You know, I asked them for yarn and it's lovely, squishy, great, wonderful yarn. But I was going to make it work, okay? I, have, I told you I had a, a sort of a Fair Isle-ish pattern. And so this is the hat that came up. Now, this is also a story of contrast, okay? This is a hat. It's lined, just like we talked about. It's lined over the ears, okay? It's a slouch hat. I'll go put it on for you in, in um, or I'll, well, you'll see. It is, um, the problem is, is this area, that is it, that's the lozenge, that's the X. This area through here, and this is all duplicate stitch, all that kind of stuff in here. This area through there was just mushy. And I don't mind a little, a couple of rounds that are mush because I feel like your eye, I mean, in fact, I am sure that several of them, let me get this going here. Let's just throw that all over the place. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm sure several of the rounds in here are kind of mushy and it doesn't bother me that much. You get the overall picture. This one, by mushy, I mean not high contrast. So this one, it's pretty mushy through there. And so I folded it up and I put it away, trying to figure out what I was going to do. And finally, I had to bite the bullet, swallow a little bit of pride, <laughs> and, and say, this is not working. So these are the colors I had left. I asked them to send me what they call cowboy brown. And that's what I came up with. And that has a little more high contrast. And that's, and I redid the hat. I even add, changed a few things. This is the hat as it in, is, ends up. It has a lot more contrast. I, I always end up showing you guys right where the, where the round starts. So you have that jog and I don't mean to do that. This has um, a pretty easy little band here and here bordering. Um, I added these stripes that the original one didn't have. I didn't do duplicate stitch in here. I actually replaced the colors through there. You definitely more contrast through here. What we also talked about was um, having an I-cord border around the edge just to prevent it. I've done some things where you just fold it on the on the um, pearl a pearl around here and the, when you put it on it this kind of stretches after a while. This I-cord um, border the edging does it prevents that it goes straight up with no um shaping whatsoever until you get to the top and then you end up with a top that looks kind of like that okay the inside has got nice little borders here with a little bit of edging and then it goes into where you can use the rest of your um, salmon left over okay that worked out kind of nicely I think this one then um, oops sorry let's do this these are the mittens that go with it now this is duplicate stitch just because I it just needed a little something that's duplicate stitch right there and then the mittens go like that now what I've decided to call this because this pattern right here and particularly the way it looks here looks sort of like the old um, tile work from the Moors or from Greek tile work, this sort of thing. I, I even looked it online. And that was done what they thought was what's called an, an encaustic um, technique. So um, since this was an homage, if you will, because everything needs to be an homage to something I decided, <laughs> um, this is an homage to that. And so this particular set is called encaustico. So there you have it. Okay, that's my tale. <laughs> that's my design decisions. The first decision was not so good, deciding colors quickly. And although, it, as I said earlier, it is really hard to choose colors 
on a monitor like that, especially something that is so dependent on color. And um, I do it all the time as a designer, and I have, um, and lots of times I will get, this is something that um, I got sent by another one of the yarn companies sent me to help me design, help me pull colors from. There are color cards, um, or you can just do the best you can, because I know, I mean, it's their business. I know the yarn companies try their absolute best to get those colors on their website as true as they can possibly be. That was not the, I mean, that was not the thing this time around. It was my monitor and my speed of thinking, oh, those will just work. I'm not going to even try it. What I should have done was ordered a couple of purples and a couple of greens to swatch and see what they look like because you know it all down boils down to do a swatch i mean that's that's what you should be doing my ego said i can handle this i can make this work no <laughs> anyway um i know that mount meadows is talking about uh, mount meadow is talking about um making these as as a kit um here is the hat instantly here is the hat um as you can see, it, it comes down as a slouch hat like that. And I, if you've watched my videos before, you'll know I have a thing with beanie hats, that ones that were kind of go back like this. I think that you end up with kind of looking like you have a pinhead. Uh, you know, with the slouch, you get the same kind of thing. You, um, you have, but you have a little more fabric here, which kind of widens it out. It just, to me, it looks better. It looks better on me. Let's just put it that way. Um, this one is really nice, as I said, because we doubled it up over the ears. So the ears and all this is double thickness, so it's nice and warm there. And what's more, um, because of the way the um, the back goes, sorry, I had something on my lap. Um, you can see, hopefully you can see that, that kind of um, comes up as sort of a focal point in the back, the top of it like that. So it, it would be sort of like that would be the way the back looked because you know how these hats I love hats like this where you have some sort of little image across um, around the top like that and in this case I decided to do the little circle things um, the gloves as as I mean the the mitts as I said mittens hello um, are pretty much straightforward you have that shaped kind of that shaped thumb there uh, with a reflection of that OXO. Incidentally, the mittens are the reverse pattern coloring than the, than the hat. So the hat is the brown on the blue there. This is the blue on the brown here. These are, as I said, in, in uh, duplicate stitch, but it has a nice long cuff here to keep everything nice and warm. How's that? Oh. All right, guys, bottom line, um, get a color card if you can. Um, make sure I don't know make sure that your 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 computer is true um, as I'm hoping I mean I thought mine were was were was yeah I was gonna say both my iPad and my computer I thought mine was um, or just try your best to to um, get a couple of colors and see whether that will work or if you don't want to change colors um, than what the designer called for, then do just what the designer called for too. Um, anyway, <laughs> thanks guys. How did the hair? I think the hair did all crazy. Um, thanks guys. Um, I learned my lessons. My decisions were not good at first. Hopefully, I made better as, as it went along. I learned my lesson on this one. <laughs> so anyway, thanks guys. Um, it's called oh, it, it's called Encostico. So if you in Cost, yeah, Encostico. If you see it from Mountain Meadow give it a look. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for um, just being around. I'm here to help if you need anything. Bye-bye.